The great Tony Robbins said, 80% psychology, 20% mechanics. We're going to talk about it on today's podcast. I've spent the last 20 years studying, teaching, and coaching people to find their greatness and take their lives to the next level. Along the way, it's become evident that emotions are at the root of everybody's successes and failures. Worry and fear are the enemies, and it's time to forge the armor and earn the tools to overcome the two things that could single-handedly destroy your future. Hi, my name is Michael Johnson, and I'm a life coach, a peak performance trainer, and I'm the emotions guy. It's time to take back control, control of how you feel, control of how you act, and control of how you experience life. It's time to become a lifer, a new breed of overachiever focused on living every minute to its fullest. We are responsible for how we feel, and no one and no thing can make us feel anything. Emotional mastery is our journey, and emotional education and intelligence is the key. We are lifers, and this is Magic for Life. What's up, lifers? Michael Johnson here with the Magic for Life podcast. I'm so excited that you joined me today because today we're going to talk about 80-20, right? 80% psychology, 20% mechanics, 20% skills, right? Or 80% mindset, 20% mechanics, okay? So you can say it in a lot of different ways, but... I thought I'd jump on today and obviously a different setting uh, and just hanging out at home and uh, wanted to get on and touch base and talk with you a little bit about this idea. What does it mean? Does it mean that the mechanics aren't important? No, not at all. It doesn't mean that. And I think in so many instances, that's the part that is misunderstood. And it's not to say that when it's time to go and learn the mechanics that you don't put your full 100% attention to that, it is to say that one of the biggest things that's going to hold you back is what your mind is thinking, what your beliefs are behind the scenes. Because what happens is your beliefs, how your mindset is, right, is the thing that is actually going to determine what your behaviors are going to be. And then what your capabilities are going to be. And then what you do in your behaviors and capabilities is going to actually determine what's going on in your environment. And so it it has this chain reaction. And here's the thing. That mindset, that psychology behind it, is indeed the thing that is actually going to help you to take different actions, to see the challenges that are coming at you, not as challenges, but maybe as opportunities. And so it's important that we start to get this understanding, right? And again, it's not that when you're dealing with mechanics that you don't go all in and that you don't focus on the thing that is supposed to be at hand. You know, I've trained a lot of high-level athletes in my day, a lot of uh, really great salesmen, a lot of great business Man, a lot of amazing coaches. Uh, I've trained a lot of uh, people that are in executive positions, whether it be COOs or CEOs. And in my day, what I found is that the difference between those that are in uh, leadership positions is their mindset, the way they look at things. Uh, an employee would come in to uh, this CEO that I had the privilege of working for at one point and an employee would come in and they'd go, oh my gosh, there's this big problem. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do? This is challenge. This is blah, 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 blah. And they'd be freaking out about that idea. But the CEO, the good CEO takes that information and says, well, how can this be an opportunity? How can this be something that we can utilize? How can this be something that we can take advantage of? How can we turn these lemons into lemonade? And that is a question that the great leaders of the world have often done. They have often come into these scenarios where others are looking at them as challenges or things that are detriments. And they're looking at it going, how can we make this beneficial? How can we utilize this to capitalize on human ingenuity and to capitalize on the things that help us be 
better as a human. And that's the thing. We have to be able to do that. We have to be able to understand how to look at things with a different set of lenses, right? Because if you have sunglasses on, it may seem dark to you. But it might be light outside. If you put your sunglasses on inside the house with very low light, it might seem like the house is very dark. But you know what? It's about coming to that place. Coming to that place where you understand that if you change the lenses you're looking at it through, that you'll be able to take your life, your world, your situation, your experience to a new place. Now, I deal with this with a lot of people on a regular basis. I've had the privilege of, uh, like I said, coaching high-level athletes. Uh, specifically, I've had the opportunity through many years to coach and work with high-level dancers. And as some of you know, I, I did have a career as a professional dancer. I danced on the, on the circuit for many years. And now I've trained a lot of championship-level dancers as well. And in so many instances, there are challenges that come up to those those dancers when they step on the floor. There's a lot of things that, that come up. And learning how to take and utilize those things that come at us to the extent that there are no challenges, there are just opportunities. An opportunity to look at it different, an opportunity to assimilate what's going on and utilize it to your advantage. An opportunity to... Uh, manage and control your emotions. There's tons of opportunities and even getting to the point where uh, in some instances you don't actually see a challenge as a challenge. You see it as an opportunity to flex your internal muscle, to flex your internal emotions, to take your world to a new place. And I know that may seem overly optimistic, and you know what? It's okay. I'm totally fine if you hear me right now and you go, oh my gosh, that is just so overly optimistic. Oh my. And, but you know what? I would rather be erring on the side of overly optimistic than erring on the side of negativity. From negative places, we have no resources. From negative perspectives, we are debilitated. And in so many instances, that is one of the great benefits of having a coach, somebody, a mentor, or somebody that can come in and guide you. Because in some instances, just having that one little extra perspective or opportunity to hear a different way of looking at something can turn something that seemed negative into an opportunity, an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to see from a different set of eyes, a different set of lenses that can move you and take you to a new place. Now, because of this, I've had a wonderful opportunity to take this idea that people are having troubles with, this mindset concept that the marketing gurus out there are throwing around as if it's something you should do, but not actually giving viable information on how to tactical information on how to. So I had the opportunity to take that challenge, if you will, that people are having a struggle with and bring it to light in such a way that I could give you some tools, a framework, a blueprint that you can actually utilize and operate with and bring those to you in such a way that you can use those, not only that one time, but for the rest of your life in a way that's easy, easy to remember, easy to see, easy to go through. And once you have the blueprint, you can actually just go through that on your own with me or without me. That's, that's what's cool, right? And so I put this blueprint together and I want to teach you about it. So for those of you, I wish, you know, I I can't quite do all of it on the podcast. It's just not enough time. But I can do it in a workshop where I can show it to you and have you participate with me. So I'm inviting you to come to this free live five-day workshop that I put together to be able to present to you this amazing framework that will help you be able to identify your core challenge that we're going to turn into an opportunity.
an opportunity to see things different, feel things different, hear things different than you already do, and utilize it to be able to help you take your world and your life to the next place. Now, how cool would that be, right? How cool would that be if you can practice seeing your challenges as opportunities, practice being able to take things that have been holding you back maybe for weeks or months or maybe even years and take those challenges and opportunities and take them to the next level where you can actually utilize them to serve you instead of stop you. Now that would be cool, right? So I put it together and, and honestly, I need I need more than uh, you know, 10 minutes I get to chat with you on the podcast. So uh, I wanted to do something that was super epic. And so I put together this five-day workshop for you to come and learn about this blueprint and learn about the strategy that it takes to implement this blueprint. And in light of what's going on in the world and how things are happening, I wanted to do it for free. I give you these podcasts and hopefully you're getting mad value and you're telling your friends about it and getting them to come and listen because, uh, you know, that's why I do it. I do it to be able to present to you information that is useful and, and will help you in your world. But hopefully you can now come and learn this cool blueprint, this cool framework, if you will, to be able to identify your core challenge the thing that's maybe stopping you from doing some of the stuff that you know you should do because you know you have great things inside of you. I know you have great things inside of you. And so I'd like you to join me. There's nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose. And uh, I'd love you to come and participate. You can sign up at marketingyourmind.com. Again, it's free. I mean, come on, guys. It's free. You know, they... A lot of my peers tell me I should charge for it because people pay attention to what they pay for. And I know I'm guilty of that too. But you know what? Come and join me for this free five-day workshop. It's live. We're going to be doing it. And I'm not sure when you're hearing this. But go sign up. And hopefully it's still going on when you hear this. If not, I'm sure you can go to the sign-up page and, and at least... Um, register and be on a waiting list in case we do it again you know i don't know if we will but um certainly you can come and join us <clears throat> for the for the free workshop anyway guys mindset is so important and again it's not that the mechanics are not important it's just that we need to spend a huge amount of time working on ourselves because we are a work in progress we are a work of art and great art takes time, it takes time to choreograph, it takes time to practice in and to work on and to take it to the next level. And I believe just like our muscles, our mind and our soul need work, it needs practice to get in and work on in order to take it to the next level. So I hope you join me. Um, you'll get another chance to hear about it. There should be something about it after this podcast. So listen to that at the end. And guys, it's a privilege to talk to you. If you know somebody that needs to hear this, please share it with them and uh, let them know. And if you, uh, if you can leave me a rating or a response, let us know that you're loving the podcast. I'd love to hear from you. It helps us. It gives us warm fuzzies as it were. And I'd love to hear from you. So let me know your thoughts about the podcast, about the episode, and go sign up at marketingyourmind.com and uh, join us for the free live five-day mindset workshop. I can't wait to see you there. We'll talk to you later. The great Tony Robbins said, success is 80% psychology and 20% skills. Crazy, right? 80% mindset and 20% mechanics? Yet, if you're anything like me in your entrepreneurial adventure, you easily spend 100% of your time working on the mechanics. Listen, even though it's easy to get caught up in the mechanics, we all know we should work on our mindset. But for so long, the mindset tools that have been out there are so complicated. That's why I decided to put together the Mindset Workshop that will teach you the mindset skills you need using an easy framework that you can learn fast and use for the rest of your life. In this free, live, five-day Mindset Workshop specifically for entrepreneurs, I'll be teaching the step-by-step -step process to identify your core challenge that's holding you back from achieving your next big goal. Check it out at marketingyourmind.com.